Hi, folks. I'm exclamation point. My friends call me EP. I'd love to sit and chat, but we've got a standby evacuation chime happening here, and I'm prepared for action. As soon as that chime becomes a whoop, I'll spring into my volunteer role as floor warden. Floor warden, you ask? What's that? Floor wardens are the calm and focused people you can rely on in an evacuation. I'm a communication link between emergency personnel and OPS staff and visitors on my floor. All floors should have at least two designated floor wardens. Do you know who the floor wardens are where you work? Oh, here comes the whoop. Time to get busy. Follow me. Keep calm, folks. Please use the stairs. First off, check the entire floor and make sure everyone has left including all washrooms and common areas. Time to get going, buddy. It's not safe to stay. Okay, then. If you insist on staying, I'll need your name and location to give to emergency personnel. If the volunteer assistant isn't available to help anyone move to the designated waiting area, I step up to the plate and help. I record who is waiting in the designated waiting area and report this to the emergency management team or facilities unit staff. This is really important. Everyone waiting for assistance evacuating is counting on me to do this because this is how the fire department knows where they are. Sit tight, folks. You're safest here. I'll be giving your names to the emergency management team or facilities unit staff as soon as I get downstairs. I know you're worried. It can be scary at times like this. But the safest thing to do is stay calm and wait right here. If the fire department thinks you are in imminent danger, they will come to evacuate you right away. Just in case, here is the number for emergency personnel that you can call if you feel you are in imminent danger or if you need to tell them that you had to move locations because it is unsafe here. Time now to report into the emergency management team, immediately. So guys, here's the requiring assistance list for my floor. There was one other person who refused to leave their office. Here's where they are. Do you need any more information about the floor status before I leave? Hi everyone, I'd love to chat but I need to check in with the person in charge in case she needs any info from me. I'll catch up with you after the all clear. Everyone should know what the floor warden does during an evacuation. Why? Because when your floor warden is absent, who will take on these important duties? It could be you.